almost forgot to record this fucking part. This Cause the of course I'm causing what the hell. Oh why after beating this I will be done with the game most slightly. It's the same with the one in the castle. Yeah, I think Vin is going to awaken something, like right? He's the main character. Like some kind of a special worship. So many uh, saws on the ground. What does that one mean? Are we dreaming? A sea of blades stretching out as far as the eye can see. Is this a battlefield? <laughs> I don't think we're in Trista anymore. It feels so empty. So lonely. Careful, it's coming. What is coming? Holy shit, say is this Satan? Is this it for us? Ugh. Even if we bet everything we've got, we might still call our bluff. Stand tall. We're stronger than our fear. Target confirmed. <laughs> Commencing assault. <laughs> Looks like I won't need to hold anything back this time. Let's do this, Lammy! This is it. The final trial. We stand before a great darkness. Remember, darkness can't exist where light is. Let's be that light! Right up! Uh... Holy shit, this thing is pretty fucking tall. Go! <laughs> Leave it to me! This thing is kind of uh, it's fucking annoying as fuck. Just beat Kandam and try again. You can always beat Kandam in this game, so that's good. My turn. Okay. Here. Here I go. Go. Let's just All kill right. these fucking things. So fucking annoying. Yeah. Here I go! There! Leave 
it to me. Eight left. Go. Here I go. My turn. Eight left. Go. As you play. This cocktail is just use this thing to get the CP up. My turn. Very efficient. Right. This one is CP. Delicious. It's my turn. This is my turn. That she uh, she was so much of HP. Delicious. Here I go. My turn. My turn. My turn. 
turn. Here I go! Right! Right! My turn! How come she she did not heal herself? It's, oh, it's fee. I almost stopped it. It's beauty. My turn. Where the fuck is uh Don't know where Cloud is Simply fucking disappear, the crowd. It's good that that now can just beat by him. 
He seems to have been uh, eaten by that thing. This is more annoying than it's hot. Go. All right. Of course. <sighs> Very easy to start. It's really annoying. What? Take heed, Awakener. Here exists a fragment of the great power. The flame and the jaws that devour the world. Did the cat just hey, say something? Can you hear me? Pull yourself together. Are you all right? <sighs> we're back where we were. Ugh, man, was all that just a really wild dream? Phew. They don't seem to be any worse for wear, at least. We rushed in and just saw you lying here, and my heart practically jumped out of my chest. You're all here, too. So, what was that, Emma? I believe what we experienced was some sort of vision, which would mean what we saw wasn't, strictly speaking, real. But it does seem like in overcoming it, we managed to pass the trial that was mentioned earlier. The fact that Instructor Sarah and the others are here supports that idea too. So, wait. The fact that they're here means... Everything's back to normal? <laughs> sure looks like it. The bell stopped ringing, and that field of energy around the building is gone. We won't know for sure without a more thorough investigation, but it looks like the building's gone back to normal too. Well... That's the best news I've heard all night. So now we can go ahead and have the festival tomorrow, just like it should be, right? Sorry, but I don't think that's what? gonna happen. But... Why? Everything's back to normal now, isn't it? Oh, come on, Sarah. That just ain't cool. I know there's no guarantee this won't happen again, but even still... Oh, come on, Instructor. They're too tired to get your jokes. The festival can't go on tomorrow like she said, but that's because it's after midnight now, so <laughs> it'll be happening today. Oh. Oh. What the I hell? See. I didn't realize it had gotten that lead already. <laughs> you really had me going there. It's too late for your humor, Sarah. <laughs> it's 20 minutes past midnight right now, and considering the principal only gave you until midnight, I think you all should be marching straight to bed. After all, you've got your big show coming up this afternoon. You bet we do. All right, let's head back to the dorms, take a quick shower, then go... The what? The door! Huh? Where'd that red 
Where'd Jewel go? Uh, uh oh. I don't know. It seems to have vanished. Hey, look. Whoa. Oh, Tidal Guess. The, the, the copy it from Tidal Guess. You're moving so up in the world. <laughs> I've got a little reward here for you. Drinks are on me. I think you could have done better than that. It's just cut away from that scene. Like, what about the Volpa? <laughs> this one is actually more like the Mobug in the Twilight Zone Cove more than the one in Jado Gaze. Actually, it's both. Actually, it looks. It's pretty fucking big. It's actually not the one in Twilight Zone Cove. Just that one's not that as big as this one, I think. It is bigger than the one in the Twilight Zone Cove. Mobug in the Twilight Zone Cove. It is bigger than the one in the Twilight Zone Cove. But smaller than Jado Gaze or the ones in Jado Seek. Wall box are always cool. Try to charge G. That is pretty, a uh, pretty octet. Uh, what the hell? Oh, Georgia is probably uh, studying that uh, robot. Could a boss fight happen? It is not likely, but still, not gonna take the chance after beating that boss. Hey there, guys. Oh, what's up? <laughs> what the hell? He's just smashing the laptop. I see curiosity got the better of you too, eh? He's knocking at Vim, but he's smashing the the the. the, the the uh, laptop is his hand, it's going to the fucking cause a fucking the, 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 the blue scream of death. <laughs> no helping that, I guess. I wondered if maybe you'd found out anything about it. Oh, I brought you a little something to eat, too. 
Oh, thanks. I was just thinking I could... Oh, this is one tasty-looking apple pie. Oh, thanks. <laughs> you seem pretty taken with this thing, huh? George seems to be the type to enjoy eating apple pies. I say I blame you, though. Yeah, it's really amazing. Whatever it is. Just uh, to get inside and pilot it is it, all pleasy. So, what do we know so far? I'm glad you asked. The deeper I look into it, the more fascinating it seems. It's not just a statue or anything like that. You can see those joints. This thing's clearly capable of movement. And on top of that, it's made of, well, it's something I can hardly even begin to describe. Some unknown metal, then. It's definitely not iron. And it's not one of those recently discovered special alloys, either. It's some kind of fiendishly strong material that has properties of both metals and ceramics. If you knew how to manufacture it, you'd rake in so much money it'd make your head spin. <laughs> wow. You think there's a possibility that it might be an ancient artifact? You mean like something from the era before the Septian calendar? I can't rule out the possibility, but in this case, my gut's telling me no. Artifacts are like black boxes. Not only do we not know what they're made from, we don't even know how they were made. This thing at least shows signs it was put together by some exceptionally skilled craftsmen and engineers. You can see it most clearly in the ornamental detailing and the joints. Oh, I see what you're talking about. Still, that basically sums up everything I do know. I've got no idea when it was made or who could even have built it. It'd help if we could at least figure out something about whoever piloted it, but no such luck there. Piloted? You're telling me Pilot. someone's actually supposed to crawl inside this thing? Well, the measurements I've taken seem to indicate a hollow area oh. in the chest. Oh, it's just the right size to accommodate a single person. If I could just find some way to get it open. Man. It's hard to imagine that some crazy person used to strap themselves inside this thing and run around. Chelica would be happier than a pig in a mud hole if she could see this. <laughs> no doubt about that. It's not looking like she'll be able to make it to the festival, though. It's sad things ended up the way they did. Hey, hey, don't you guys go getting all weepy on me now. It's still morning. I'll bet she'll just turn up out of nowhere this afternoon like nothing even happened. And then she'll waltz right into the after party and round up all the hottest babes for herself. <laughs> it feels like so long ago. You're right, though. I mean, I'm not trying to get my hopes up too much, but this is Angie we're talking. <laughs> but hey, the festivals and what do you say the three of us cruise the camp? <laughs> anyway, all right. I'll I think I don't want to miss. Well, let's just take a picture of this thing. It's pretty cool. Judging by this power, this power cables, it's most likely uh, it's more than likely can be uh, moved by itself. Of course, it's not an electric scooter, except that it is. Uh, it can uh, punch the, the monsters. What? This way, why not? Go and be else at the fun game. Sorry for keeping you waiting. Oh, Rain! Is something the you look awfully? <laughs> I was running all. Oh yes. my God! Is this Hi. fucking? They serve. Maybe you should go get some rest. <sighs> I can look around on my so own. So fucking just annoying. <sighs> yeah, just kiss her. Nah, I got enough sleep last night. To... Besides, you came all the way out from. I can only hang out till noon though. No nah, incest. That, yeah, not that. Like, Rain. fucking well, if you want the, to keep the strange. <laughs> what should we see first then? Hmm. We walked around the academy together, and I showed her all of the- hmm? 
What's up with the <laughs> pastor here? Yeah, well, it's some kind of speed petrify. I mean, I don't even know what her age is, so like, could be legal. In that case, that the the the, the, the man is not not a Like Celestine's out enjoying the festivities too. I believe you are a son. Lady Elise, you're looking simply splendid today. I was hoping you might be able to make it. Petra uh, wa probably wants to uh, cut Vina, uh, but she's not going to succeed. She How utterly heartless of you to not tell me she'd be visiting. Is that any way to treat your bosom buddy? Your dear <laughs> friend? Sorry, uh, wait. When did we become dear friends? A good day to you, Master Reen. And <laughs> you must be his younger sister, who I've heard so much about. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Elise Schwarzer. It's good to see you well, Lord Patrick. Please, please. There's no need for such formalities between us. Just call me Patrick. <laughs> ah, I know. Why don't we take this opportunity to stroll the campus together? <laughs> Yeah, Finn is not having it. What are you doing? You are not going to uh, go, go cut me. What problem could you possibly have with my taking this chance to foster good relations between our families? See, that's all well and good, but Elise hasn't made her debut into high society quite yet. Which means it's her brother's duty to shoo away the unwanted pests. Reen? <laughs> Must you always <laughs> be such a tyrant when it comes to your sister? <laughs> Come along, Master Patrick. It would be unseemly to disrupt such a beautiful display of familial dedication. There are still preparations to be made for the operetta, so I suggest we depart to tend to those soon. A bell? Oh, that's the new Nah, child. the fucking bell. Is it really that late already? Uh, I suppose I must turn away empty-handed for now. <laughs> Empty. But I hope you're prepared, Schwarzer. When this day is over, We'll know without a doubt which of our classes is the greater. Oh, I already know, but I guess you're about to find out. Looking forward to seeing your A-game. <laughs> I think you overestimate your chances. Victory is as good as mine. I hope you'll be dazzled by my spectacular stage presence, Lady Ace. And assuming you'll be attending the after party this evening, it would be my pleasure to share a dance with you. Master Patrick. I suggest we hurry to the auditorium. Your classmates are waiting for you. If you'll excuse us, Master Reen, Lady Elise. <laughs> Petra is getting cooked by the little <laughs> idiot. You've got a with some rather amusing people. I would have expected a son of one of the four great houses to be a lot less approachable than that. Well, class and titles can only tell you so much. Getting to know Eusis and Angelica really drove that home. At the end of the day, even the most distinguished nobles are more than just their family lineage. Though I can't really say Patrick and I are on the best of terms. Well, if not a good friend, at least he seems to make for a spirited rival, judging by your exchange back there. It's so nice to see all these places you mention in your letters, too. I guess you really did make the right decision coming here after all. Yeah, I really did. I feel lucky to have been chosen for Class 7, too. They can be an odd bunch, but I couldn't imagine my life without them now. <laughs> Thank you so much for showing me around. I wish we could spend longer together, but I know you're busy this afternoon. I'll be fine wandering around by myself for a few hours, so go on and start getting ready for your concert. <sighs> I'm really sorry to have to leave you flying solo. And maybe a little nervous now. How many other well-heeled nobles are going to crawl out of the woodwork to escort you around the festival? I appreciate your concern, but I'm not a child anymore, you know? Tee hee. The two of you really are the portrait of sibling affection. What? I know that voice any. Y your Highness! And Prince Oliver, too. Hmm. Fucking. So fucking annoying. 
Maybe some of this hide is in <laughs> low balls and what the fuck be, is... I am the chairman of the board. It's only proper that I pay a visit. I would have liked to come yesterday as well, but I'm afraid I was tied up with a few official duties. Can you it's for the Medusa. Set the fuck up. But this is the festival. I couldn't miss it. In fact, I have... Right. Did you... Basically, I've been told... <laughs> Oh yes, I'm afraid I'll be all yeah, right. Yeah, such a head when it's a cop in Kunda. Fucking, would you mind? So caught the to the hide. You know, I don't see Major Van. Unfortunately, not. There's been an. I thought so. The Imperial Army is considered. I'll try oh, not to worry yourself the about that. Right. Cost building. Let's let's see it there. Under order. Right. Thank you, Your Honor. Yeah. Let's all kill. Fuck off. Anyway, Alfin and I would be. We'll bring her along to your con. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck. <laughs> I look forward like, to this seeing you this card is not that annoying. Stage. The problem is that like the, the, I know the story is at the point where it should be like important. Uh, serious get the, the final chapter. So this saying that's bullshit and move on with the story. Okay, I guess I should head over to the auditorium now. We have to take care of some last-minute preparations. Let's see if I can uh, finish this game to lie. Let's see. Something is going to happen most slightly. It's really soon. Maybe a war or some kind of disaster where uh, tens, uh, hundreds of thousands of people fucking die and then. Things will finally be serious. That was incredible. Well, I'm impressed. I had no idea how much work they put into this. <laughs> well, I have to confess, it's better than I'd anticipated. That's going to be one tough act to follow. Can we really measure up? Now I'm not so sure. Are people really going to be into our songs after seeing a performance like that? Wait a second. On me now. If your rehearsals are anything to go by, you're gonna bring down the house. You really think so? She's right. We'll be fine. Our concert, you just. <laughs> what more? Well, hopefully, as soon as. Roger. I'm so. We're coming in. Toa? George? Here to give a little comfort to the weary. <laughs> <laughs> coming in. Uh. Huh? It couldn't be. Uh, Angelica? <laughs> Looks like I made it just in time for the main event. Mm. Kind of disappointed I missed the operetta, though. Heard class one was really on fire. That's just fuck up all what they say. You made it! Just barely. But man, when did you get I to be mean, such a I have, like, high standards, but yeah. Then again, I... Uh, fuck me, it's a fuck me. <laughs> well, a good suit and tie are more to my taste. But this was part of the deal I made. He said I could visit the festival if I agreed to meet a few prospective candidates for an arranged marriage. <laughs> so, here I am. Dress and all. He better get... <laughs> <laughs> well, if that's your aim, you're certainly dressed for victory. Yeah, but I think it might draw out your charm a little too well. Most normal people would take one look at you and think you're completely out of their league. <laughs> you do look lovely, though. <laughs> Thanks. But honestly, I've got nothing on the rest of you fair maidens. Ah! <laughs> ah, Angelica! Ah, nothing like the pure, fresh scent of a woman. All I've had to look at since going back home is my dad's grumpy old face. I'm in heaven right now. Good grief. Well, I suppose some <laughs> things never change. Come on, Angie. All right, I've got my fix. Time to move on to my... Oh, so warm, so soft. <laughs> <laughs> that tickles! I should have seen this coming. 
Angie, don't get too carried away now. You do know they could file a sexual harassment claim, <laughs> right? The whole case. <laughs> it's good to have her back. I'm so glad she managed to make it after all. Looks like the winds are favoring us today. I'm looking forward to your concert. From what I hear, you've got quite the show in store for all of us. Don't go getting yourselves too wound up. Just remember what you practice, put your all into it, and I'm sure the audience will be right there along with you. Yeah, it's your time to shine. Go on and have the time of your lives. Good luck out there. That's good. Thank you for next, our academy. <laughs> They're not having a fucking seaside without having a two bomo on. <laughs> Let's see this in normal mode. The normal is very boring. The, the two bomo is better. You've been a wonderful crowd, and we've heard your cheers loud and clear. So without further It's so fucking slow, like they literally have a two bow bow on and then it's gonna go like it's a two bow, two bow. It needs to be like. Everyone, join in! <coughs> it's not that good, the song is nice. Now everyone shut the fuck up and, and, and stop writing the call. This, what the fuck, this is supposed to be fucking military economy and there's fucking like uh, sucking cocks and singing and opening their fucking pussy mouth and uh, taking the in uh, instead of learning how to fight. Oh my fucking god, shut the fuck up with title for the war to begin. Patrick? Oh, it's you. Honestly, this is what bothers me so much about this class. I know you're tired. We're all tired. But that's just an excuse, this level of indolence. <laughs> what concern is it of yours? <laughs> At least you could let us bask in the app. Still, I gotta hand it to you guys. It was really something. <laughs> Great. I wasn't sure what. You, you. Well, I can't say I'm surprised. Wait, are you? If you're all languid and show a lip. Hmm? What are you going? Aha! Uh -huh. 
Ugh. Pulling that third, you even had me to... What was that? I'm... Congrats! Huh? Is something wrong? You guys are so worn down. Remember a certain little... Well... Oh, now that you meant... We were so busy... So wait... They just finished counting up all the votes from good numbers all around, but classes one and seven were the clear favorites. And this year's winner, with 1,512 votes, is Class 7's yes, concert! Yes, of course, why would, why would the Class 1 be in when C1 has the main card in it? Oh! Huh, congrats guys! Well, at least that's over. Aw, oh, come on, is that it? That's all the enth- Well, after seeing all the other- For what it's worth, my brother and sh- Mishy panic what Now that it's over, it feels a little... Unsportsmanlike for us to be the only ones boasting about our achievements. Agreed. If- <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I'm more happy- Oh yeah, they're- I totally for- It's a tradition to close out the festival with a big party for the- Oh my fucking god! This fuck okay. more pop- She said- Right! Fuck. I went to a pretty uh, party school myself and I don't remember having so many fucking parties or what the fuck man. Oh They burn the fucking place down. Fuck this. Oh, now, what the fucking shit? Let and the my war brother, begin already. I, I want to see the, a lot of fucking deaths and a lot of fucking stuff. Elliot, fuck. I just wanted to thank you for everything you've done for us. <laughs> you mean for the concert? What brought that on? You got what the fuck? It's just that our performance. I wanted what to make sure. Fuck. Damn, man. Huh? I mean, and huh? You all help because it's about so. Yeah. Shut the oh. fuck up, Elliot, my boy. Yo oh my god. <sighs> Maybe he fucking cocksucker yeah. in the fucking father size here. No. What the fuck? Though, hmm. crow. Oh, uh, general class. I guess that happened no matter what. If I man, barring any <sighs> nasty, which means our time is. Now that you oh. mention it, <sighs> we'll have to see if we can throw you a farewell party around the end of the month then. Can't let you off easy. <laughs> Come on, it's no big deal. Trust me, you're still gonna see more than enough of me next year. Sure, I'll have moved out of the dorms, but I'll be sure to stop by once a week to steal some of Sharon's cooking. You better. Oh, and by the way, I'm not going to have to call you Mr. Armbrust or anything after you graduate. I mean, we've spent... <laughs> of course not. And if I ever catch you calling me Mr. Armbrust again, I'm gonna smack you. Oh, yeah. Guess it's about time I gave you this back. Isn't this... I completely forgot about it. You've done so much for me since then. Saving Elise, helping with the concert. Compared to all that, 50 Mira is nothing. <laughs> the feeling's mutual. Besides, I never return the mirror that I borrow. Makes that coin extra special. So go on, take it. I... Oh, by the way, you know there was interest on this, right? How much do you suppose you really owe me after half a year? <laughs> oh man, what kind of racket are you running here anyway? I thought you were supposed to be a good kid. Well, there's this one second year who's taught me a thing or two about making money. To be honest, it feels kind of lonely to think that everything between us is completely settled and done with. So, what do you say? You still owe me? I swear, the things I do for love. All right, all right, you'll get your stupid interest someday. Maybe. The fuck someone is... 
Rebecca King win, I think. Eddie fucking waffles in the camp. He's drawn to the party before us like a moth to a flame. This is like a starving man to a banquet. Like beauty to me. What say you we grace the dancers with the gift yeah, of our company? Yeah, this one is also a threat, but like, <laughs> there's threat there. It's as though you read Win. my map. Oh my god, Vin is getting cooked. Now, oh, now, even one cooking is unacceptable. <laughs> no need to worry about... Allow me, Sharon. Before every red-blooded <laughs> boy in this school lines up for a chance. <laughs> it would be my honor. Madam Chairman, might I have this dance? <laughs> of course, given that our former partners left the dance all too soon. <laughs> Instructor, <laughs> I cannot thank you enough for all uh, you. I, can, I don't know however, why it's just never really? it's just like the thing about what is oh. fucking <laughs> cock suckers. Uh, talking on oh, sausage, you know. Well, I'll be dancing with all my little kids, but I suppose I can let you take the first dance. Need to do the first step well, one. But seeing you in that dress is. They waste no time, do they? It's no surprise that my grand. <laughs> no, it, when is the. Second start, I did. The, the war. The, the <laughs> Looks like everyone's having fun, though. Shall we join them? You've given me more than enough of your time between showing me and beside. <laughs> what? Wait, what? I knew it. So I have a potential sister-in-law now, do I? Let's not get it. Still, maybe you're right. Maybe I do feel kind of bad leaving you here. I'm fine. Besides, it well, what the fuck? They're just like with the thread there. What the hell? He's such. Ah, oh. Your Highness, the general. If you were. Oh my fucking god. Laura. What the hell? I. Oh, I really? said the fuck. Perfect time. No, Would you uh, like to dance? What huh? the hell? <laughs> my father and instructor Sarah make for a rather impressive dance. Watching them makes me want to go up and dance myself. <laughs> To be honest, I came over here ready to ask you the same thing. Oh? Still, since the guy traditionally asks the girl, I might as well. Would you like to dance with me? <laughs> I'd be delighted. Was exhausted. <laughs> Still, that didn't keep. I don't get the chance to dance. <laughs> we might be nobles, but I suppose this attending this academy. Same here. When I first enrolled, but when I arrived, that allowed me to. Thanks to you. <laughs> I. How so? At least you had something. But I know if I hadn't decided, we're both. Fa As am I. And I suppose. Uh huh. <laughs> I'm glad that the. Likewise. After that, I went back to see Elise. But by then, that memorable evening was a pro. Reen? Elise? Claire? Good evening, Captain. <laughs> oh, well, it's. I really. That's the kind. Wait, what? You're a student? That's right. And. I. I why did. Given beside, especially. Fuck. Because. Exact. Not all student. Hey. I'm sorry, but I'm. That we. I'm aware. Um, yes. Yeah, so but that's what, though. <laughs> hey, everyone, shut just the fuck <laughs> up. I need to. Please, excuse me a moment. I mean to return. Yes, we about to be playing in other mm -hmm. games. What? Such as a Dragon Quest 11. What's going on? And you're certain of this. Understood. What? I'll return oh, it okay, once. Okay, okay. Something shook, shook is hitting the fire now. I yes. Think. I will escort them back to Valflame Palace myself. What? I'm afraid I have to excuse myself. <sighs> Sorry, Elise. My brothers requested that we return to Heimdall right away. But as we're going back by car, a 
thought I'd offer you a ride home. But, but... Elise, I think you should go back with them for now. I'll call you later to make sure you're okay. Well, mm. all right. Sorry to drop this on you. I'm sure someone from the Academy will fill me in. On what? If you'll excuse us. Don't worry. Just we'll say sure it is. Back to the Academy safely. This conversation you I haven't could be just to just to tell him shortly of what happened. They just have to keep on this fucking stupid drama for no reason. Green! Does anyone have any idea what's going on? I'm afraid not. I've never seen father behave like that before. My mother's the same way. She got a message of some kind and just changed. Ditto my father. I think it was someone from Heimdall who got in touch with me. One thing is certain. Something terrible has happened. My dad turned pale and was gone before I could ask what happened. It sounded like he received a report from Instructor Nightheart, though. Hold on. Nightheart's supposed to be... He was at Corellia Fortress with the 4th Armored Division on some sort of mission, right? Speaking of which, has anyone seen Toa or Instructor Sarah? Hmm. Students and visitors, I cannot thank you and I hereby proclaim the 127th Thor's Military Academy Festival complete. But I am afraid I must announce this with a heavy heart, as we have just received word from the Imperial Government that this evening, Gorelia Fortress, which rests on the eastern border of the Empire, has been destroyed. What the fucking shit that huge thing can be destroyed? No. Destruction is an inadequate word. An unknown weapon has erased the what fortress the hell? in its entirety from existence. The hell? This I doesn't mean they'll not if it's guests from that region or otherwise. Please try to remain calm. They don't they're not gonna show the place they have the action, what the hell? Oh my god, the jump seven days instead. Fuck this game. They need to follow the Take this anymore. Where is she? Homeroom was supposed to start ages ago. Yeah, this is more like it now. <clears throat> I'm not surprised she's late. The instructors are probably all busy trying to figure out what to do. That seems more than likely. This morning's meeting has already It's still hard for me to believe all of them having been there. The idea that Gorelia Fortress just vanished is difficult to comprehend. Not all of it I heard. There are still some parts left and almost untouched. But Instructor Neidhart making it out of there alive was nothing short of a miracle though. Those huge railway guns were part of the section that's gone too. If I hadn't seen the pictures, it'd be kind of hard to believe. What? So those weapons are gone then. There's not much what else. What kind of weapon is even capable of doing something like that? Whatever weapon here, it is, is more, even more powerful than those wave guns. I find myself doubtful that any human could create something so powerful. We just don't know. All we do is know is that it's impossible. 